Gotcha. Should we really sort out my evidence before I continue? In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he was left the dining room. Ooh, welcome back. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure it out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. I mean, I guess if we have a lot of clues, let me just save just in case. There we go. Well, you two think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Lala? Ready to solve this case? Yes. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Okay. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Lala. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. <laughs> uh, please tell me he didn't actually die. <laughs> please tell me he didn't actually uh, die. Welcome back. Ah! What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Ah, oh, sh shoot. Took a screenshot. Um. Oh, <laughs> please tell me I was wrong about this. Oh no. Uh, he, he's not responding to us, Sonic. What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. Is there a pulse? It's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure he, his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to, Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? It, c it could be Espiel. It could legitimately be Espiel. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't think about it. It was me. <gasps> I'm the murderer. <laughs> it, ha it could be Espiel. Because at one point, Vector left Espiel in the library. And there's a secret area to get. It's Espio. Oh my god. I, it's Espio. It actually makes sense. Okay, so if we... Okay, looking at this map, I'm really just going to tell you my logic. Espio, Vector left to play video games with Knuckles. There's a certain part in the library where you can hide without... Shadow, who was going through most of the cards, he didn't notice Espio was there. So, he went into the secret compartment that leads to where Shadow's supposed to be, and he killed Sonic. Holy moly. Espio. I... I actually didn't think it was you. I didn't think it was you, but we know someone who does. Lala, who has the evidence to prove SBL knew about the hidden passage? Isn't it Shadow? I could be wrong, save. I'm pretty sure it's Shadow. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. It's not Shadow? They told us who can see... They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? They can see it later. And see it later. No, it's not Amy. At this point, I'm just guessing. I don't know. I don't remember. <gasps> Rouge! The blueprints! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! The blueprints! Let's go! Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I saw the blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Lala, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen these blueprints? Swipe them from the conductor. Espio found them before Rouge. First of all, it's not this one. The only reason I know it's not this one is because it seems like the conductor is very sharp and can figure out when people take things from him. It happened with Bruce earlier, so it's probably this one. Dart. Okay. And can Espio turn invisible? Hasn't that been established in one of the older Sonic games? Forgetting about that. Ah, uh, okay. I actually suck at the gameplay part of this. off. Two rings off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. I press the jump button. What in the heck? Oh, no, no. <sighs> I jumped too early. Okay, uh... I bet you this isn't even hard. I'm just making this like harder than it needs to be. Oh, okay. Blow dart was found here in the conductor's room. I believe SBO used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Uh, so you mean 
Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure if he's more banned up than a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is possible. Possible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the diamond car? I locked out the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to use the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Lala and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Well... Could it be this one? thought it was the arm. I totally messed up. Ugh. It really does! Oh, but it's hard. Oh! <gasps> free! Free rins off! Just free rins! Yeah, no, I'm falling off. That was terrible. <laughs> I just got hit after one hit after one hit. I- oh my gosh. Okay. That is so evil. That was so evil. Oh my god. <laughs> Went too early. Ah! <laughs> I did the same mistake. Okay, wait. Okay, we gotta think about this. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me! Ah! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is... Ah! Uh, 
It's not hard now because I actually know which pathway I could. I say this. I say this and somehow I'm messing up way more than I was before. Are you kidding me? Oh! <laughs> I guess that's true, but my word, I suck at the- I love the part where I'm actually just reading. I suck at this game part. Oh my- I wish there was just a reset button. I wish- oh my god, who cares? Just die. I'm not doing it with all that mistakes. I refuse, honestly. true murderer of Sonic. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. If the SBO didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There was a path above the conductor car and it goes all the way to the dining car. Hmm? I don't even see that area. Is that some kind of sort of lawn attic? According to the blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back here, and a track. A track, huh? Track for the robot, robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that bend and took him to the dining car? Tells you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. That feels right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through the fence? The robotic arm? Yay, to the part I suck at! <laughs> and now 70 rins! That was annoying. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Why are they doing this to me? They're like, oh yeah, you're a pro, and I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not a pro, stop, ah! Okay, okay, 
eight rins. Eight rins. I'm off by eight beautiful, delicious rins. I need to breathe. Give me a sec. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Quinn. Thank you. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I did way worse. Oh. You know what? That's not gonna work. Yeah, we're not... Ugh. Yeah, no. That was in the good run. Nope. Okay. Goodness. <laughs> They're killing me here. Okay. <laughs> you just you just pull out your like little little Game Boy Advance <laughs> and they're like uh aren't we trying to solve a murder? I'm like shut up I'm playing this game <laughs> right now. Okay. Okay, no, I hit- <sighs> Just kill me now, please. Just, just kill me now. <laughs> it's cause, like, if you mess up at least twice, I feel like you don't have enough friends to get to the bo- Ugh! Okay, let's try starting from the bottom here. It might be easier?
but that's so true. Oh my goodness. It's helping me really, like, forget there's actually a murder going on and I have to, like, do this. This is dank and rompa level stuff. <laughs> and I'm not having it. <laughs> Ugh. saw the broken right arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track that robot arms use that continues for the vent. Robot arm could have grabbed Sonic's pass out. Wait. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart. That's um, a weird sentence for me. And carried them, I mean him, to the dining part. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banned up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting fairy tales, but you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidence. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsist inconsistency. <laughs> Someone here received false information and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that hot scoop came from. Tells, you're right. Espio, you lied to me. Espio told me Sa Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Yeah. <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's gonna get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree, you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ugh. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days! I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cast out in confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could have only been one person. It was you, Espio! Dan, that's a screenshot moment if I had one. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic! Hi! Hey, buddy! You had too much dark juice? <laughs> How are you doing? Hey guys. Sonic! You're okay? Sonic, just as we solved the mystery. Espio was the murderer, right? 
SPO jumped me in the conductor. No, we're screenshotting this. This is kind of cool. Damn it, you got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleeper for a while. Great! I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. SBO left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But when he was telling me I had a bad feeling, I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the prince. The train's powered by a flicky. Oh! My glob. Oh my glob. What? A flicky, the tiny animal? There's only one person twisting up the. Eggman's here? Eggman's here? Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more simple than a magnet. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me this in the interview. Right, as we saw the flakely, I felt a stand in my shoulder. It was a blow dart from SBO. SBO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and I stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right for the robot arm, sliced it off the rail, it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poison. I mean... Sonic, so I'm not even surprised. But another arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arm approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Everyone, I have to something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Screenshot? <laughs> yeah, we already know that. That situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? But that's how murder games work. <laughs> you shoot someone with a dart, blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. <laughs> Was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the co conductor cart. It's laced with non lethal sleeping agents. Thanks you again for choosing the Mirage Express. It does, it does kind of look like a face. Um, is Eggman on the train and he made this list? This just kind of feels weird. What is that? Yeah, no, I already read it. <laughs> what is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff who gave us this. Ooh, who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Lola, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed SBO the blow dart? 
The train itself or the conductor? Huh. Wait. <laughs> Let's save. Um. Gotta think about this. Well, wasn't the conductor already tied up? It had to be the train. I believe something's, something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad nick and now it's out to get us. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out for, to get us. I don't know what the train's full of intent is, but clearly it's been tempering in our murder mystery game. TRAIN! COME OUT AND SHOW YOURSELF! A Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy hidden, Amy's hidden the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.